So, Sora 2 just got dropped and I found a way to make cool 2D animation videos in minutes. But first, let's have a look at what we made. Yet another boring day at your job. You check your phone to see any message. It's from mom. I am coming home. Looks like mom's shift got early today. You feel hungry. I've told you three times today, you have to wipe the counter every time a guest leaves. This isn't optional, it's basic cleanliness. Do you understand me? Y yes sir. Good. Make sure it doesn't happen again. On way back home you think, why is your boss so bad? You have been working here for two years now, without even taking one sick leave. Here is our game plan to make this. First, we are going to generate 10 seconds clips from Sora 2 AI with prompt. As you can see, I will show this process just in a second. Next is step two. We are going to remove watermark and add videos together, plus some voiceover. You can use any editing software, like CapCut, for example. In step three, all we have to do is upscale the video. Don't worry, it's free and very easy to do. Let's generate that video step by step now. All right, let's begin with step one. You can get the prompt PDF from the description. After opening the prompt PDF, you will see that there is a basic prompt given in the PDF that we're gonna use. Simply copy that basic prompt and paste it in the Sora AI to generate our first video. As you can see, I have optimized the prompt according to my needs. Let, let me run this prompt. You can see it has begun to generate. Let's just wait for the AI to make the video. Hmm. Something good. Always make sure that you are satisfied with the style. If you are not satisfied with the style, you can always regenerate it. Let's generate rest of the scenes now. For generating the rest of the scenes, we are going to add the image of our first video. Uh, as you can see, I have added the image and then I have given it the basic prompt. All you gotta do now is change this prompt to the next scene of your video and the AI will generate the next scene in the same style. Generate all the rest videos using the same method as discussed. If you have doubt in any step, you can rewind the video to get it clear. Now, if you haven't messed up any of the steps before, you would have a collection of videos just like this. But, as you can see, if we play the video, we can see this annoying watermark. Now, in the next step, we are going to get rid of this. Step two. First, I am going to discuss the theory of how we are going to get rid of the watermark. Make sure to pay attention here. The watermark keeps on moving throughout the video. By the way, these are the frames of a same clip. But here's the thing. We can see that most of the movement is in the center of the frame, which is our character. And in the rest of the part of the frame, where the watermark keeps on moving, there is not much moment. We're going to use this to our advantage. We are going to overlap the frames on each other to remove the watermark as shown here. Don't worry, it's very easy to do, and I will show you how. So let's open the video in which we are going to remove this watermark. What we are gonna do is take a screenshot just like this. I have taken the screenshot. As you can see, now you have to go to this website called Pixel Cut, and let's open it. And then we have to click on this plus icon and add our screenshot here like this. I have added the screenshot and we are going to increase the quality of the image by doing upscale. You can see we have clicked up scale here and it has increased the quality of the image. Now we are going to click on retouch and select the watermark from here and click erase to get rid of the watermark now. Our picture is ready in high quality. Simply download it. So in the CapCut, we have imported our video and our image that we just created. Simply open the video and overlay the picture that we generated on the video. Let's see here. I have overlaid the picture on the video. Now let's adjust the scale of the picture to match the video. 
You can see here that the video is being played under the picture. Simply right click on the image and then click on the edit option. There you will find crop ratio. Simply click on it. Now we are going to crop our image to the side where watermark appears and adjust the crop image as you're liking now. You can see that the left part of the video is completely removed from the watermark. We are going to do the same process again to remove the watermark on the right side of the video. Well, if you have doubt in any of the process, simply rewatch this part or leave a comment. I will try to reply. So here is the complete video without watermark and that complete our step two. Find the link of the video 2X software in the description. We are gonna use this for upscaling because it is free and available on Windows. As you can see, simply click on the download option and install the software in your computer. As you can see, I have already installed it in my PC and I have also imported the video that we just created in CapCut. It has no watermark, but it is very bad in quality. Let's open the video 2X software. We are going to import our test video to the software. It has popped out some settings, which we are going to see. First is your graphic card. Select your graphic card, which is available. Leave the processing mode as same and change the filter selection to real ESRGAN and filter scaling option to four. Keep the real ESRGAN option of model, same as shown in the video. Let's click enter and you can see our video is about to be upscaled. And let's start it upscaling. All right, so our video has been generated. Let's have a look at the quality. As you can see, it is far better quality than what we started with. And now you can see these are the before and after upscaling the video. The quality has improved very much. So that was it, guys. Today we generated our clips with Sora 2 AI, then removed watermark together in the cap cut, and then we upscaled the videos to make it look better. And if you have any doubt, you can ask in comments and I will reply. Thanks for watching, guys.